Good morning, everyone, on this early Tuesday morning. Hopefully, you're off to a good start as uh, weather-wise, it is muggy out there. A little breeze blowing as we have a few isolated showers pushing on through. And we're going to see more develop as that upper level low pressure continues to stew right over us. And so during the afternoons and evening hours over the next two or three days, I think uh, showers and storms will be likely, if not numerous at times. So great grass growing weather, great garden growing weather for a lot of us. So if you have vegetables coming in uh, because of the uh, rain and uh, temperatures staying below normal, if we don't get too much rain, we could have a bumper crop when it comes to the next 7 to 10 days when it comes to our vegetable gardens. But we'll go ahead and get into that. And we have a lot of weather going on. Uh, we have a tropical storm that's out in the, in the Atlantic, going to be pushing into the Caribbean, maybe a hurricane, but I just don't think that's going to be a big player as it moves into the Caribbean. It's going to be moving into unfavorable conditions, and it may actually get torn apart. That is tropical storm Brett, but there's going to be one form behind that, and I think that's going to be uh, developing and pushing out into the Atlantic, kind of making that recurve. So that's something we'll continue to watch. Texas, lots of heat. And that heat is going to be a not only a weather story, but a news story as we head into the next six to eight weeks. They're going to be uh, probably getting a, a big dose of that heat. And unfortunately, it could cause some power issues. So you're going to probably see that in the news. And you'll probably see all the uh, kind of the climate change type stories that are going to uh, be a result of that. But uh, that's Texas. And sometimes you can have those big stretches of weather when it gets very, very hot. 1980 was one of those I can recall that was one of the hottest in, in history. So it does happen. And unfortunately, they're going to be getting hit hard. And because of population growth, the grid is going to be under a lot of stress. But here we go with our weather as uh, we're going to see uh, temperatures uh, on the uh, muggy side today. It's not going to be hot but it's going to be humid. Right now we're 70-ish. There you see a few of those scattered showers. And the scattered showers will uh, continue to develop as we head into the heating of the day. High temperatures closer to 80. Boy, you can see the spin of that upper level low pressure system with showers and thunderstorms heading in from the south and east. And from Nashville, they kind of hook back from north to south. And that will continue as we head into the midweek. So both Wednesday and Thursday, lots of clouds. Temperatures well below normal, upper 70s to near 80, with that uh, upper level low pressure system continuing to just kind of fester right over our area. It won't be until maybe later Friday before the uh, scattered showers and storms start to decrease a bit. And then by the weekend, that upper level system will start to weaken and move off to the north and east along with that tropical weather system. So as we head into Saturday and Sunday, a little drier and uh, temperatures will start to heat up as a result. Upper 80s, maybe close to 90 if we do see that sunshine. But notice Texas, Oklahoma, parts of the Plain States really broiling with temperatures well over 100 degrees. For us, by the beginning of next week, may actually see another frontal system push on in from the north and west. So that's going to keep the heat at bay for us as we'll see perhaps a few more showers and notice temperatures at night will be into the 60s during the afternoons mainly into the 80s and while the heat stays in Texas we're going to dodge it at least for another 8 to 10 days so great news so last day of springtime hard to believe but springtime has been very uh, comfortable for the most part a lot of us um, sometimes complain that boy we didn't have much of a spring we did this year and it's lasted all the way into the middle and second half of June. And we may not get really into that summertime heat until we get closer into the 4th of July and then the dog days of summer. So some good news there. If you want to avoid that summer heat, we're going to do so at least uh, for the uh, next several days. So uh, take, a, take along the rain gear, though. We're going to need it today. And uh, have a great uh, rest of your Tuesday. And uh, we'll talk to you later.